Piers Plowman by William Langland. Piers the Plowman is an allegory written by a great 14th century writer William Langland. There are three versions of the poem. The first version appeared in 1362. The second version was produced about 1377, and the third probably towards 1398. The full name of the poem is The Vision of William Concerning Piers the Plowman. It is the poem written by William Langland, the contemporary of Geoffrey Chaucer. Like Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, Piers Plowman is one of the great vernacular works of the 14th century. But unlike Chaucer's poetry, Langland's work is apparently of and for the people, rather than the court. There are three visions in the poem. Piers Plowman is a sustained allegory in verse form of the dream vision. William Langland's poem Piers Plowman is in part a work of social protest written from the viewpoint of the common man. The last half of the 14th century was a period of disaster and social unrest, the severe visitations of the plague with accompanied moral, social and economic upheavals. Piers Plowman is essentially a religious work filled with religious doctrines, dogmas, views and sentiments of the medieval Catholicism. In this poem, the poet has a series of visions which he relates to the readers. Each vision is concerned with man's relationship which concerns with every aspects of life. In the first vision, the poet dreamt of a vast field of people going about all the tasks and activities of the poet's world. The vision was explained to him by a lady named Holy Church who informed him that the castle at the end of the field was the home of truth or God and that in the dungeon, in the valley dwelt the father of falsehood or Satan. When asked by the poet how he might save his soul, the lady replied that he should learn to accept truth along with love and pity for his fellow men. The poet then dreamt of a long sequence in which appeared Mead representing at the same time just reward and bribery. The king proposes to marry Mead to Conscience after her rescue from falsehood. But Conscience proclaimed against her and refused to marry her. The simple meaning of it is that bribery cannot be reconciled with conscience. In the second vision, the poet viewed the seven deadly sins. At the end of this vision Piers Plowman was granted a pardon for himself and heirs forever. In the third vision, the poet has described Piers Plowman's quest for truth. This quest is divided into three parts, search for do well, do better, and do best. In this way, Piers Plowman appears in the poem as an incarnation of Jesus Christ. The poem is an allegorical work of art presented in verse form of dream vision.